Oh, I was in before I was declared in uh, World War Two mm -hmm. and Pearl Harbor. I was at uh, Fort Adams in Newport, Rhode Island. I was only there just a very short time when they grabbed me. Almost didn't take me because I had just graduated from nursing school practically. I, they'd have grabbed me sooner, but I couldn't take my state boards before that in Massachusetts because I wasn't 21. <laughs> yeah, they had uh, three MASH units there. We were in the middle, let's say, one on the coast on both sides. That was my work. <laughs> I, I liked operating on them. I did, did. That's why they grabbed me first, I guess. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it because of the wound, of course, but I was glad we were there to take care of them. But the irony was we never had a lot of medication. APC tablets. <laughs> That's all we had. For wounded, wounded and for us. Aspirin, phenacetin, and I couldn't, never knew whether it was caffeine or codeine. <laughs> but that doubt, that's all we had for the yeah. GIs, too. Uh, yeah. When I think of it now, God bless them. Gee. What we did is the severely injured put them on a helicopter, took them to Japan. All the others, of course, we treated. It was an experience, and I say I'd do it again if I was a young chicken, but I'm not. I'm an old bird now. We didn't know each other going to Korea. The, none of the officers of the colonel or anybody on the train. And, and uh, the girl that I was going to be ruined, she, you going to see the colonel with that? I said, yeah. I did. Expect me to wear this in the operating room? <laughs> you know, a 38, man's 38 and I was a size 9. <laughs> so I put everything on backwards, like Charlie Chaplin. And I said, I'm going to see him. So when I went in to the colonel, like I say, didn't know any of us. We, we're all new. And my roommate said, you're not going to go see the colonel like that. I said, yes, I am. So I, like I said, I put everything on like Charlie Chaplin and went to the office. I said to the sergeant, I said, is the colonel in? He said, yeah. He says, go, oh, God, I got to see this. <laughs> so I went in and the colonel almost fell out of his chair and I saluted him and I said, sir, is this what you want me to wear in the operating room? Huh? He said, dear God, they didn't. I said, yes. <laughs> and I was glad not glad that they were wounded there, but that they needed nurses and so forth. But I always say that if I had, if I was able to do it again, I would. <laughs>